Before Doug Sensor Martin became a signed esports player for FaZe Clan. Before Doug won the MLG National Championships in 2011. Before he amassed over 500,000 followers on Instagram and a million subscribers on YouTube. Before Doug Martin convinced the world that he never had a cheeseburger. Before he started dating the hottest weather woman alive, Yannette Garcia. He's a kid from New York who was very shy and in his own words, very insecure. He felt that his only competition could come from video games where he could dominate the competition. In his final year of high school, he wanted to show people that you can play video games and prioritize your health and your fitness. Once he got that out of his way, he would set sights on a new goal, utilizing his fans to impress the girl of his dreams, Yannette Garcia. Hello everyone, I'm Azzy and welcome to Before They Were Famous, documenting the life of face sensor prior to fame. You guys actually requested this video, so as always, make sure to leave a comment down below who you'd like to see next. I too am a gamer. If you want to see some of my gaming content, check me out on my personal YouTube channel, Azilin. <laughs> Douglas Martin was born on August 21st, 1994 in Long Island, New York. As a kid, he recalls that gaming has always been a part of his life. He got started with the NES playing some of the original classics like Super Mario Bros. Whether he was playing RuneScape or MapleStory, he recalls that he couldn't get enough of playing video games. When Doug was 13, his grandfather passed away and him and his family moved in with his grandmother. The move required Doug to change school districts and he was stressed out about making new friends. Even though he adapted well to school, he admitted that he was always awkward around girls and preferred to play video games in his room alone. He decided to put more time into Call of Duty. His mom would ask him, what are you doing in there? And he would respond, I'm trying to be the number one Call of Duty player in the world. His mom would respond, why is that so important to you? And he said, because somebody has to be number one. He decided to be productive about his gameplay, launching a YouTube channel in 2011. Around the same time, he was also on his high school football team, but once again, gaming would consume his time and interest, and even result in him missing practice and games. High school dog had limited amount of his friends, but he could always count on his friend Dan, who actually took him to the gym. Initially, Doug had no interest and wanted to drift back into gaming, but eventually, something clicked and a new passion was born. His gameplay started to attract him some online attention. He ended up joining his own team and winning the MLG Nationals in 2011 in Providence, Rhode Island. Shortly after, he joined the pro team Strictly Business. He stayed on with them for three years after leaving to join FaZe. After some time on FaZe, he was positioned as team captain. Around that time, Doug started getting some attention from the ladies. One mystery woman ended up initiating a study date when he was 19, and he got a little bit of stage fright, but eventually managed to get the job done. Well, kinda. His time with FaZe, he was traded from FaZe to Justice for the Season 1 COD League Championships. During this time playing with Justice, he was involved in a cheating scandal where he ended up getting banned from COD competitive play for the month before the National COD Championships. He said that it occurred because one of his teammates recovered a fellow teammate's account and had a different player use that account. With this time off, Doug decided to focus more time on his fitness and on his YouTube gameplay. The correct process was to either forfeit or play their match as a 3 versus 4, yet they opted to cheat by recovering the account and they were penalized. While he regretted the decision, he said that the punishment did not fit the crime. He was banned for a month from competitive play and later on had to hand over his role as captain to another teammate. At the time of this recording, he does not play for a professional team, but his main dream with competitive play is getting back into it and winning at the COD World Championships. Doug's life took an unexpected turn in mid-2015 that took him away from competitive COD play. One day while making videos for his YouTube channel, his friends showed him clips of a Mexican weather girl. This was none other than Yannette Garcia. Doug recalls that she was the most beautiful girl he had ever seen. So instead of making his typical COD videos, he made a video called I'm in love and it was all about Yannette. He asked his Twitter followers to tweet at her and eventually she followed him back. After talking back and forth, 
Dog found himself on a plane to Mexico in an experience that he calls the craziest experience of his life. Her Yannette and Dog hit it off and began dating. She routinely appears in his videos and they are maintaining their long distance relationship. He uses his experience to motivate and remind his audience that perseverance is key to success. Whether it's finding the right job, winning the heart of a girl, or excelling at a hobby. Doug is a strong advocate for being confident and taking risks. While he continues to date Yannette, you can find her routinely appearing in his videos on YouTube. He recently topped 1 million subscribers, and you can find some vlogs and some challenges on his channel. Doug's main goal with his channel is aspiring to inspire. He remembers growing up watching some COD pros on YouTube and would see that they didn't really care about their fans. He wants to put his fans front and center and aspire to motivate them to make healthy choices in life and be confident. Currently, Doug is working on his new channel rebranding called 2.0. While he's not currently on the face team, he does act as a substitute from time to time. He doesn't know how he wants to do it yet, but he wants to combine his two passions, gaming and fitness. He has stated that he wants to be the rock of gaming. While he started out as a gamer, he wants to become more of an entertainer and motivator for his fans. He wants his name to be the first thing that gamers think of when they think of fitness and changing their lives. He doesn't know how he wants to do this, whether it's through a TV show or a product, but he states that his plans are in development at the moment. And the rest of the story, well you know the story, because this is before they're famous. Awesome guys, thank you so much for watching. We've actually done a few other gamers on this channel, like PewDiePie, Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, uh, a ton more. We've also done Yannick Garcia, so make sure to check them out. Until next time, bye!